Africa is a huge continent, with 54 countries covering a landmass of 12 million square miles. Africa is also known for unique animals, like lions, elephants, zebras, and giraffes. But did you know that there are distinct African dog breeds? Not only reflecting the desires, tastes, and preferences of their owners, they also possess a number of adaptations that help them to thrive in the local climate. One thing is certain, however, African dog breeds are unique and beautiful, each in their own wonderful way. For that, in this video, we've listed 10 amazing African dog breeds. Number 10. Chinese Crested Dog We're going to start our list with a bit of an enigma. The origin of the Chinese Crested Dog is not entirely certain, but the general consensus is that they're likely to have originated in Africa. They earned the Chinese portion of their name while serving as rat hunters on Chinese cargo ships. However, researchers have found that the all hairless breeds share the same bit of genetic code that causes the hairless condition. This suggests that they all have a similar, likely Central American relative who lived about 4,000 years ago. Number 9. Rhodesian Ridgeback This African breed is named, in part, for an African country, although that country is now called Zimbabwe. The second part of their name refers to the stripe of fur that adorns their backs. Rhodesian Ridgebacks were developed by crossing feral African dogs with Great Danes, Mastiffs, and a few other dogs of European ancestry. Initially conceived as a bird-flushing breed, hunters soon learned that they were also adept at hunting larger prey. And by larger, I mean king of the jungle larger. Number 8. Abyssinian Sand Terrier Also called the African Hairless Dog, the Abyssinian Sand Terrier is a smallish breed who stands about 20 inches high and weighs up to 35 pounds. Some are completely devoid of hair, but most of these dogs have a bit at the back of their skull and at the end of their tail. This is a very rare breed, which isn't seen outside of Africa very often. They're thought to share ancestors with the Chinese Crested and Mexican Hairless Dogs, but the finer points of their genealogy remains unknown. Number 7. Azawak The Azawak is a bit of a rare breed you won't encounter very often at the local dog park. And that's a shame, as these African dogs can actually make very good pets, especially for adults who live in relatively warm climates. Like other sighthounds, including Afghans, Salukis, and Greyhounds, Azawaks are leggy and lean, with long, endearing faces and floppy ears. They love to run, and they're just as fast as you'd expect them to be. However, Azawaks actually do quite well in apartments. They're quiet and love to cuddle with their peeps, making them perfect couch companions. Number 6. Atlas Mountain Dog also called the Aldi, the Atlas Mountain Dog was originally developed in the Moroccan mountain range of the same name. Although they were originally a flock-guarding breed, they have an excellent sense of smell, so they were also used alongside Salukis to hunt. The Atlas Mountain Dogs would sniff out hiding prey, which the speedy Salukis would then run down. They're sensitive and affectionate, but they're very protective of their people and territory. Number 5. Cotton de Tulier Related to the Bichon Frise and Maltese, the Cotton de Tulier is a short little dog with a long, shaggy white coat. The biggest dogs may reach 15 pounds. Originally from Madagascar, this little lap dog is as friendly as he is playful, and he loves spending time with his family. Nevertheless, these are excellent dogs for first-time owners, and they're reasonably easy to train. Despite the fancy look of their coats, Cotton de Tuliers don't require very much grooming. They don't need very much exercise, and they adapt very well to apartment life. Number 4. Slofi Another sighthound from North Africa, the Slofi is pretty similar to the Greyhound and Azawak. Capable of reaching around 2 feet tall and weighing up to 65 pounds, the Slofi projects a noble and impressive aura. Blessed with long legs and a lithe bill, these dogs were originally bred to run down speedy prey. Slofis are very loving with their families, but they aren't terribly concerned with making friends during their daily walks. Slofis also have a very active prey drive. Number 3. Africanis This is an umbrella name for various species of dogs that come from South Africa, as, in fact, the name suggests. Legend has it that these medium-sized dogs, reaching a height of 50 to 60 centimeters and a weight of 25 to 45 kilograms, have been around for 7,000 years, since the Neolithic herdsmen that came from the Middle East brought them along in Africa. Being a very slender and muscled breed, he's very quick and supple in his movements, becoming fairly quick when it comes to running. Number 2. Borbel The Borbel is a massive mastiff that originated in South Africa. Incredibly heavy for their height, some stand only a bit over 2 feet tall weighing nearly 200 pounds, Borbels were developed as guard dogs. They were quite effective in such roles, and they were brave enough and strong enough to defend their families from lions, hyenas, and other large predators. 
Like many other guarding breeds, Borbles are very loving and affectionate with their families. They're big, slobbery sweethearts who are gentle with and tolerant of children. But despite all of these wonderful traits, they aren't particularly warm with strangers. When combined with their unthinkable strength and mass, these traits make them inappropriate for novice owners. Number 1. Basenji Basenjis are rather small canines who usually weigh about 20 to 25 pounds and have cute little curly cute tails. Their heads and perpetually alert ears seem a bit large for their bodies, but they're cute nonetheless. Hailing from the Congo region, these little dogs are bred to accompany hunters into the jungle where they'd flush out small prey. Self-reliance, independence, and intelligence are all prerequisites for the job, and you can still see these traits in modern members of the breed. That concludes our video of the 10 amazing African dog breeds. Which one of these dogs did you like the most? Let us know in the comments. And if you liked this video, then subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.